Hello guys, this is Piping Welding and NDT. So welcome in my new video again. Uh, my topic for today is uh, uh, tools of the inspector. Okay. So first is taram. So what is this? So this is a high low gauge. Okay. See this one high low and then made in this is a gal gal gauge company this original high low original high low gauge Okay. So this halo gauge is easily to use. Okay. So this uh, see this uh, angle. Okay. This angle if you insert it in the gap, you will show I uh, we will show it the angle which is the standard is a 37.5 okay this angle is 37.5 okay and we have a screw here you can adjust it and this we have also um we have also a millimeter here and English. So this um, you can use also the this this line, the overlap, or the you can use also in the cuff height. What is the cuff height? Okay. this line just uh, put in the pipe like this and you can read it and then lock and then you can read it here this is a zero millimeter zero zero this one if they have a if they have um overlap so like that okay and this one just insert is this one in the five you will see it also the high low inside of the pipe or inside of the group angle so yeah if just insert this one if the position is like this so they have we have a uh, overlap or high low and then just read also here okay inches or millimeter so this one is a uh, 3 mm high low okay so this is a um, high low gauge using a 5 feet inspector or you can they can also use by 5 feeter so that they can monitor they fit up they are fit up okay high low original gal by gal so next gap is gauge okay so this is a gap gauge and we have also a ruler steel ruler okay up to 130 centimeter ok 
Okay. 130 centimeter and 10 centimeter. 100 or 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter, 200 millimeter, 300 millimeter, 400 millimeter, 500 millimeter. Okay. And the back is plain only. So neck is the, this is the gaff gauge. Okay. This is the gaff gauge. And stainless steel made in Japan. Okay. Up to 15 millimeter and we have also positive negative 0 0.01 and the back is also the plane and you can use also this one by um, by sizing the diameter of the pipe for example this is the pipe a small pipe and just insert this one like this and you can read it how many diameter this tube and then for the gap you can use also this one for the gap of the pipe for your to welding well, what our standard of the pipe <coughs> standard of the gap is only a 3 mm or maximum 4 mm okay so this is our gap gauge next is welding gauge okay so the welding gauge is this so one. this is the welding gauge Okay. commonly used by mga normally use it this one is for the welding inspector okay they can measure the cup height or forcing and then they can uh, this one just uh, stand in the pipe and move this angle you can measure the height of the rein, uh, reinforcing of the welding or cap height like this and then just measure here millimeter or English and also they can uh, measure the undercut of the weldment okay undercut also take the measure here okay also they can measure also the angle of the bevel okay they you see this one just touch this one in the angle and you can read also the angle 60 degrees 50 40 30 20 or 10 degrees okay and we have also they can measure also the theoretical throat in the pilot so this one so this line this one they can measure a fillet well welding fillet okay or the throat just move it like this and you can read it the fillet weld okay this is TWI limited by Cambridge UK so this is the welding gates uh, welding inspector they can use this Normally, welding inspector using this welding gauge or 3.1 welding inspector. Okay.
So just review it. High low gauge for the five thing inspector or the five filter. We can use this one high low gauge and the gap gauge or the steel ruler and also the welding gauge for the welding inspector 3.2 or 3.0 so that's all guys and thanks for watching i hope they uh, understand my uh, video and how to use these uh, tools for the inspectors okay Thank you very much guys and see you my next video. Bye.